Hey, what's up? For this episode, I'm going to talk about am I happy with myself? Um, I'm not really happy with myself. I'm at peace with myself. I'm not really happy at all. Um, the reason why is because, you know, I don't have a girlfriend in my life. And in order for me to be happy with myself, I want a companion that I can share my love with. And that person can share her love with me. That's what will make me happy because that's something I've been waiting for for like ages since I was born. I don't know. For a long time. But um, why am I not happy with myself? I said when I came out here in North Carolina, I was really happy to make a change. Well, yes, it's true. I was really happy to make a change because in New Jersey, where I'm from, I um, develop, I experienced a lot of um, a lot of um, not so nice things. Um, I grew up with jealousy towards my brother. I um, I experienced depression, rejection, I felt really trapped, uh, like I, had, I, didn't, I didn't feel like I had my own space when I was living in New Jersey. Um, and I know they also have that here in North Carolina, but I'm not in that position where I was in New Jersey like I am here in in North Carolina. I'm in a much better position here in Charlotte, North Carolina than I was in New Jersey. In New Jersey I felt like really trapped, really lonely. I was so moody and I was very depressed. So when I came up here to North Carolina with my mother I was really really happy and it was uh, so acceptable for me because I was going to make a change but um, like I said I'm not really happy with myself I'm at peace with myself um, I am 39 and I'm, I'm about to be 40 and what makes me in peace with myself is that um, I spoke with a therapist here in here where next to where I live and I let all my frustration out uh, to my therapist. And she listened to me and she talked to me and that's what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. I needed um, a mental health therapist to, to have a conversation with me. That's what I needed. I needed a friend. I honestly didn't want to go to to therapy because of money. Money is really stressful and it makes people crazy. It makes me crazy. And even going to see a psychiatrist or going to see a doctor or, or therapist, that costs a lot of money. So it made me nervous to even see a therapist because of the whole money situation. Um, but you know, it, it, I have insurance through uh, the government, which is great. And it allows me to see a therapist. It, it's all good. I, I love it. I love that feeling. So, um... But, um, am I exact, am I happy? I'm not happy, I'm at peace with myself. I mean, the greatest thing I ever done that I can think of is going to LA. Not the first time I went to LA, but the third time I went to LA, which is uh, to network. I went to, I recently went to LA last uh, July to network um, 
last year in July. Last year, July. I went to LA to network looking for actors and actresses to uh, work with me on a film that I'm doing called Hand Puppet Ninja Wizards. And it, I had a great time there. I was uh, with friends, communicating with them. That's really what I needed in my life was communication. And that's what was missing in my life was lack of communication. And the reason I was never happy growing up was because I was always jealous and I felt like I needed assistance from my mother, um, which I do with a roof over my head, but she's my, she's a great mom and I love her very much. But, you know, when it comes to like friends and, and finding um, a girlfriend, that's not someone that I want to turn to for that. So, although she was gonna set me up with her friend, uh, and I guess I was okay with it, but you know, she wasn't really interested and she had her own interests, which is not really my business anyways. Um, but it is what it is. And I was, um, I was a bit down and a bit disappointed. I was, no, I was pretty disappointed in that. But you know, there's plenty of fishes in the sea and that was through my mom. So I'm not really keen about, about that whole thing, which w was awkward, but there are like, Mom is doing what's best for her son. That's all I gotta say. My mom is doing what's best for me and moms want want what's best for their kids. So uh, that's the great thing. But um, but she wasn't interested. So um, it is what it is. And I really don't care. I mean there's more to it but I don't want to get to it because uh, this is not what the the uh, the episodes or the series is supposed to be about, anyways. Because it doesn't really affect me. I mean, it does, but uh, I no, it it just doesn't affect me that much. Um, uh, but um, my happiness. Is because my happiness will come true if I can actually find someone that I can share my love with and someone worth loving. Um, or friends because uh, a committed relationship isn't always promising so there's friends and there's casual encounters and you know everybody wants to have a great time I obviously want to have a great time um, I want to have fun everybody wants to have fun I mean we all want to have fun there's no doubt to that but you know we live in a society where there's a girlfriend and boyfriend and relationships and like I said, Valentine's, holidays, family, and all that jazz and confusion. So, um, that's just how it is. And, but, uh, you know, happiness comes with passion. That's what, that's where happiness comes from. And that passion makes it worth living. I don't have that passion, which is why I'm not happy. I am more at peace with myself than I am happy with myself. And I can only be happy if I experience that passion. 
that passion doesn't I mean in a world we live in passion is really just an enjoyment of life and um, we um, even though it's an enjoyment of life it doesn't necessarily have to be a committed relationship passion is interesting actually I mean there's a variety of passion and it's casual it's just a mutual enjoyment of life and that's what makes people happy but uh, I'm more at peace with myself um, not necessarily going out there to make my passion happen like most people are but um, like I said before a uh, conversation is key and who knows where that conversation might lead to it might lead to the physical passion you're looking for or it might lead to the relationship you, you're looking for um, but passion is what makes life worth living and if it makes life worth living then you'll be then you're happy I'm passionate about fitness now I'm passionate about filmmaking I'm passionate about writing that passion doesn't necessarily make me feel happy it makes me feel at peace with what life has to offer the reason the reason sexual passion will make me happy is mainly because I've been desperately waiting for it and I've been desperately waiting for the mutualness of it I had it when I was 25 with a girl but then I lost interest of her and I wanted to I was looking for more so um, I lost interest the last time I had sex was when was in 2010 that was the last time I had sex and my father bought me a prostitute in Dominican Republic so that was the only last time I had sex it wasn't good it wasn't it wasn't that great it was physical passion but it wasn't the passion I was hoping for because the passion I share with the with the girl when I was 25 that was that was a great passion that I was somewhat looking for but you know sex is complicated it's very very complicated and it takes practice to make that passion worthwhile so I guess I wasn't practicing enough with her honestly not enough but uh, the interesting thing is that when I saw us in, when I saw us in the mirror and I was looking at us as a couple I wasn't comfortable I mean she was taller than me she had a big nose mentally I was judging her and I didn't feel right about judging her so I had to break up with her because of that reason it wasn't just because the intercourse was horrible it wasn't just because 
I was really young and she was really young. She was younger than me. She was 22. I was 25. It wasn't because of that. It was somewhat because of... No, actually it was because of that. Because I felt uh, too young to be in a committed relationship. I just wanted to have fun. I wasn't ready to commit myself to a girlfriend. I always wanted to be that guy to have girl after girl after girl. And shockingly, a lot of people thought I was that guy that guy they thought I was a player my manager at White Castle my boss at White Castle he 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 would say to me yo Will I know you a player and then he he was like I don't know he was giggling like yo well I know you a player because I had a clear face, I'm exotic looking, I was 22, 21, I was a good looking guy and I was the type of guy who looked like I could have any girl I want. The truth is, I had a lot of issues communicating, I didn't know how to, how to talk properly, I didn't know how to approach properly um it, it was like really frustrating for me because um i it, it was just really confusing i didn't even know i grew up with a traumatic brain injury and i didn't even know i grew up with tremors i just thought i was very shaky and that i was in an accident that i fell out of a moving car and I thought that life was chosen for me because a lot of people say that uh, your life is chosen and, and you're, it's chosen for a reason. I, uh, I gotta be honest, when people say that shit, it's clearly bullshit. I mean, they act like uh, I was... So people were telling me that it was chosen for me. Um... I was a kid playing with the door handle. I was just a little kid playing with the door handle and I got it open. My mommy turned, I fell out, and then uh, I was breathing heavily. I fell into the coma in the ambulance and <clears throat> I had internal bleeding. But two months later, blood flow out my left ear and I grew up with a traumatic brain injury ever since. So having a traumatic brain injury is actually a second chance in life. And it's it's a rewarding experience as well. Even though it was hard and hectic for me. So should I be happy that I'm alive? Yeah, um I was just a kid. Now I'm an adult. Um, when I was a teenager, when I was a teenager, a young adult, I wanted a girlfriend. And I wanted someone to share myself with. To spend time with. To dance with. When I went to a uh, uh, dance in um, Booton High School, it's like Booton Junior in high school. When I went to a dance there, I wanted to, I had a crush on this girl and I wanted to dance with her. She didn't want to dance with me, so I got really pissed off and I, um, and this has been happening to me all my life and I hope that what happened recently at the bar is going to be the last time I, 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 a conversation gets interrupted because if I end up hanging out with the um, F-45 crew again and that happens to me one more time, that's it. I'm, I'm done with F-45.
Um, I'm not done with F45, but I'm not going to hang out with them anymore because what just happened to me was, it was a girl thing, but um, it was actually really rude and very mean. So, uh, and it hurt my feelings. And I was hoping to have a connection with someone and have a conversation and possibly build that connection, but then it happened because of that stupid interruption that was really childish, but then again, I'm 39 and they're in their 20s, so they're more immature than I am. And I'm just more mature, but I've been mature since I was a teenager or a kid, and it's just getting old and tiring and stupid, and it's just pretty moronic, actually. But, um, shit happens. So, the reason I'm not happy with myself is because I don't have a girlfriend in my life. And, um, people will, people can say, so what, I'm single. But that's the thing, I mean, you gotta experience things to be okay to be single. You gotta experience being in a relationship. And if it, and if the relationship doesn't work out over and over and over, and you decide that you wanna be single, then it'll be fine. But if you, if you, uh, if you, uh, are in a relationship and experience it, like, and you love being in a relationship and you want to constantly be, be in a relationship, well then, be happy. I mean, that's what, that's what living is all about. Experience beauty and be happy with what you experience and the beauty around you and being in a relationship is the total package because you're experiencing love. Love is beautiful. You're waking up next to a person who is beautiful to your eyes. You're also sleeping with that person. You're communicating with that person and communication is beautiful. And that's what life is all about. Experience and beauty. And you either experience it from a relationship or you experience it in life. But in order to be to want to be single, to rather be single is that um, you got to be in so many relationships and if it fails, it fails. If you want to start another relationship, then do it, but if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, nothing is perfect. Everything is about experience. And if you don't, if you don't, if you or that person is not in, not liking his or her experience, well then go elsewhere. And there are like guys who are controlling of women. There are women who are stocky of guys. Um, you just, um, life is a challenge. Life is full of different challenges. And a lot of people are not going to be happy because they're not happy with what they're experiencing. Me, I desperately want to experience love and I want to experience being in a relationship. I want to experience, um, I'm not sure if I want to experience being in a family, but, uh, it, it, uh, I mean, I would love to, uh, be a father or whatever. I am an uncle. 
I am an uncle and I do love kids. I used to teach kids martial arts all the time. I love teaching them and I honestly do want kids but kids are very expensive so happiness is very tricky and it's also money money involved in happiness money money doesn't buy happiness but money puts a roof over your head money puts food in your mouth money buys you a car or gets you around town in transportation money stabilizes your lifestyle it stabilizes your lifestyle where you enjoy life where you're where you love life because you're doing what's worth living and that's what a relationship does as well and when when the girl or the guy sees that you love life and you're confident and you're living your life and you're happy that person want would it's gonna want to share his or her life with you and that's that's a great feeling that's a great thing because you're living your life that person is gonna want to live his or her life with you and you'll be having the best in both worlds and you you'll be happy but that's like in a relationship if you're living a single life maybe that person wants to be uh, uh, really good friends with you and what happens happens meaning casual encounters or because relationships are complicated I mean I fear marriage I fear everything because there's money involved and money is what is what builds up everything and even in a relationship if you don't have money then that person is not going to see a future with you or that person is going to think that um, you don't want to put any effort in the relationship. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, there's an area in California, uh, mainly in LA, but there could be all over California, but mainly in LA. It's called Skid Road. And in, in Skid Road, there's a lot of homelessness there. Uh, so, and Hollywood is in LA and Hollywood is known for uh, movies and uh, celebrities and rock stars. So, um, money can drain people out and once they get drained out from money, they'll, they'll end up in Skid Road if they don't get the help they need. Uh, so it's very, very scary and it's really uh, hopeless out there actually. <laughs> it can be very hopeless out there. And um, it's just, um, it's not something you want to get yourself involved in because you want to be in a relationship and you want to you want to be happy and you want to live your life through happiness I'm not happy but um, you know I'm at peace with myself and I love the connection I made in, in LA um, what really frightens me is that and I don't think I should be worried that much but this is why I'm not happy because um, it's based on my brother and um, he when I when I told someone that I was gonna move to um, Oregon when I told my brother's um, girlfriend's mother that I was gonna move to Oregon 
And um, I guess Eddie heard the conversation and I guess uh, she, the mother told Eddie that I was going to do that. And Eddie quickly took charge and said, you're not moving to Oregon. And um, I don't know. I mean, um, it sounds really controlling to me. And also, um, he even said that she gave me like a birthday card or a Christmas card. And she mentioned that she's giving, she gave me a little something something. And I think that something something is money. I'm not sure. But uh, she gave the card to Eddie. And Eddie gave me the card. And I, I, I thought the card was generous. But... Then uh, he, then he sounded awkward with the way he said it, and I, they made me think that he stole money, <laughs> like that was given to me, in that card or, like I could be exaggerating, but uh, I'm quite confident that he probably stole money that could be in that card that was given to me.